Good morning. Good morning. I wake up early in the morning because you are so fair, my God. I love your judgments. We bless your name. Come on in, come on in, my beloved prayer partners. I command the angels of the Lord to wake you up. Wake up, wake up. It's time to pray. It's time to connect your spirit with your Creator. Thank you. In the middle of the night, the devil is attacking you by a nightmare in the middle of the night. Our daughters are being raped in the middle of the night. Crime increases in the middle of the night. But let me assure you, the middle of the night belongs to our God. The middle belongs to our Father. When people are asleep in their deep sleep, the Lord reveals His secrets to His servants in the middle of the night. I bless you. Thank you for coming in. Things are going to happen in your life. I'm telling you right now, your life will never be the same again. I'm committed to you. I love you with all my heart. And because I'm committed to you, and I don't want us to break this chain, we don't have to break this chain. Already I have received the testimonies of you, my prayer partners, what God is doing in your life during this time of prayer. I greet you all. I greet you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I don't know where you are in the world. And let me tell you, this is time to pray. Time to pray. I love this song. I love this song. I love this song. We rejoice, we rejoice in the Lord because now we can pray. The devil is a liar, the devil is under our feet. I welcome you, beloved prayer partners. The Lord is good. The Lord is good all the time. Let me give you good news. I know there are people who have been complaining, saying, Apostle, I'm not a Facebook person for obvious reasons. Let me tell you, I'm on this platform, Facebook, for one reason and one reason only, to preach the gospel. My mission statement is reaching people and reviving lives. And I'm reaching you right now. And I'm telling you right now, God is going to set your life free. You are going to develop a positive attitude, positive habit, the habit of praying, excuse me, <clears throat> in the middle of the night. Let me tell you, right now, I'm on YouTube. Tell your friends, tell your friends, the apostle is now on YouTube. Why? Because I want to reach out to you. I want to motivate you. I want to admonish you. I want to bring you closer in the presence of the Lord through prophetic messages. I welcome you. I welcome you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let me admonish you once again. Let's work together. Let's work together. Let's share the broadcast. Let's work together. Let's, 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 let's share with our friends. 
Let's call them and say, please, this is your message. This is what the Lord wants from you in the middle of the night. Beloved viewers, let me say this to you. We are not going to cease praying. Remember in the book of Thessalonica, the apostle Paul speaking to the church, he says, beloved, don't cease. Do not stop praying. Pray continuously. Hmm. Be in the atmosphere. Be in the attitude of praying all the time. Be sensitive to the spirit of the Lord. I'm admonishing everybody who's watching me right now. The spirit of the Lord says, you must continue to pray with my people. You must continue to motivate my people. Because the devil, he's not going to cease to attack them. He's attacking them all the time. So join them. Pray together with them. Let me tell you what the spirit of the Lord shared with me. There are people who were supposed to be dead by now. I'm telling you, the devil was attacking you. He thought you're not going to make it to the end of this year. But by the grace of God, you are a survivor. You are a winner. You've made it. You are not only going to make it till the end of the year, but you are going to cross over. And I'm telling you right now, God is going to bless you. God is going to promote you. God is going to elevate you. I mean, God is going to protect you. It doesn't matter who's cut, casting spells of, of uh, demonic forces upon your life. They are not going to make it. Why? Because God is going to send his angels to protect you. Beloved viewers, let me just share this quickly. You remember the story in the Bible, in the New Testament. Christ was very hungry. And he was with his disciples. And he saw the fig tree. And he rushed to the fig tree because of the greenery. It was promising. It was like it has all the fruits. Jesus ran to the fig tree. And to his disappointment, when he arrived at the tree, there were no fruits. And he was angry. He cursed the tree. The following day, he was with his apostles. And when they were passing the same tree, the whole tree was dry. It's in the book of Mark. Chapter 11. And they said, Lord, look at the tree. It's dry. And this is what he said to them. Have faith in the Lord. For whatever you say with your mouth, it shall come to pass. Even if you can say to this mountain, be cast to the sea, the whole mountain, mountain will be removed. For whatever you say will bring the fruits. Let me tell you, beloved prayer partner, we are not meditating right now. We are going to pray. It's important to meditate. All right. Psalm chapter number one. Blessed are those who meditate upon thy law. And on thy law, they meditate day and night. They are like a tree planted by the riverside. And everything they are doing, they succeed in it. Meditation is very important. It's very, very important. But let me tell you, there is a difference between meditation and praying. All right. Don't think. Pray. Say it with your mouth. Say it with your mouth. Because when you say it with your mouth, you are releasing power to work on your behalf. Come on, shout. I'm going to prophesy upon my life. Say it. I'm going to prophesy upon my life. I'm going to say it with my mouth. I'm going to say it with my mouth. Remember in the book of Proverbs, life and death, they are in the power of of your tongue, life, life, release, release, release faith by saying it with your mouth. All right. Don't say anything negative. Say anything that is positive about your life. Beloved viewers, remember in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, people are being attacked. Yes. By demonic forces. People are being attacked in the middle of the night. Nightmares. Your children are suffering from nightmares. Okay, crime is increasing in the middle of the night. Our children are being raped in the middle of the night. Okay, you know why? Because there are no righteous people who are praying to stop the maneuvers of the evil one. But you and I are going to do it in the name of the Lord. I'm going to admonish you with a powerful scriptural verse. 
Psalms 119. You remember Psalms was written by David, the second king of Israel. Yes, David. David was a powerful, powerful man of God. He was a prophet. This is a powerful scriptural verse. I would like to share it with you. Psalms 119, verse number 62. Oh, I love this scriptural verse. I love it. I love it with all my heart. Psalms 119, verse number 62. I can see you guys are coming in. Mm -hmm. My future is bright. I'm not a weakling. I am strong. I'm powerful because the Lord is on my side. Yes, yes, a powerful scripture. verse. In good news translation, in the middle of the night, I wake up to praise you for your righteous judgments. I wake up, wake up, wake up. Cast away the spirit of laziness, the spirit of doubt, the spirit of fear, the spirit that says, what's the use? You've been praying all along. And things are getting worse in your life. The devil is a liar. You and I are going to pray. We are going to believe God. And your strength is going to be renewed. Because those who trust in the Lord. Yes. They walk. They run. They fly like eagles. And they renew their strength. I'm praying for the renewal of your strength. I pray for the spirit of courage. I pray for the spirit of boldness. Because those who believe in the Lord, are bold like a lion. Be bold, be bold. Come boldly in the presence of the Lord. I can see you, my prayer partners, coming in. I don't know when are you going to watch this broadcast, but let me tell you, any time during the day you are watching this broadcast, I know God is connecting me with you. You are not watching this program accidentally, randomly, but you are colliding with your destiny. It is God's plan to touch your life, to change your life. We are not going to stop praying. We are going to continue. We are going to pray without ceasing. That's my admonition from the Spirit of the Lord. Remember, beloved viewer, we are also on YouTube. Why? Because I'm interested in you. I want you to be strong. I want you to be powerful. I want you to be untouchable. But let me tell you, the God that I serve, he's a powerful, powerful God. Wow. There is this young girl who had troubles left and right in her family. They were fighting um, with her husband. There was no peace, money. And um, um, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, the Lord has blessed him. She has been promoted. I'm telling you, she's driving a new car. To God be the glory. Let me admonish you, beloved prayer partners. Let's continue to share the broadcast. I love you with the love of the Lord. I know there is somebody who's watching me who says, Apostle, you are such a blessing to me. Thank you very much, man of God, for dedicating your life in reaching out to us. If God is touching you right now to be a blessing to this ministry and you'd like to send your love offerings. And somebody said to me the other day, Apostle, you know what? This is my church. This is where I get fed spiritually on this platform. Can I give you my tithes? I said, why not? Because you are helping me to spread the gospel of the kingdom of God. If you want to work together with the apostle, you'd like to share what God has blessed you with financially. You'd like to be a blessing to this ministry. Please, the number is 083-449-1858. Okay, 083 449 one eight five three the fraud stars out there who would like to take advantage of you and i'm telling you there are people who have been uh, deceived um, um, they've taken advantage of them they took money on my name saying this is the apostle speaking to you and they're sending verses to you just to ask you to give them money listen if you want to donate something we will give you our number we are giving you our number 083 449 Five, eight. God bless you. Do you have a glass of water ready? Let's do it by faith. Let's do it by faith. In the middle of the night, I will wake up and praise your name. I want you to praise the name of the Lord. I just want you, you know what? Go deep, deep down into your spirit. Allow the rivers of living waters to flow out of your spirit. Just tell him how much you love him. Just tell him, just tell him he's a good God. Before I go out, allow me to say this. The Spirit of the Lord said, I must tell you, He is not against you. He is not fighting you. 
He's on your side. You don't have to commit suicide. All right? He still cares for you. And remember, the darkest hour comes just before the dawn. Your morning has come. And joy comes in the morning. All right? Don't, don't commit suicide. Don't kill yourself. I know there is somebody who's watching me. You feel like, I have no reason to live. The reason that you are alive and you're watching this video right now is because God is connecting you with the prophet of God. He's not through with you yet. He's about to do great things in your life. I love you with the love of the Lord. Let's do it by faith. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I love you with the love of the Lord. I stretch my hands towards you. I speak God's blessings upon you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I command every fiber and every tissue in your body. If you've been attacked by cancer, I burn it. I burn it by the power and the anointing of God upon your life. I speak, I speak the healing power. I speak God's miracle. Your money is coming. God is going to set you free. God is going to set you free in the area of finances. He's going to heal your body. He's going to touch you in a special way. I love you with the love of the Lord. Let's continue. Go, go to that secret place and bow your knees. You remember that song? This is time to pray. I love you with the love of the Lord. Shalom. May the good Lord be with you.